Hi guys, let's try to solve some problems. So for what we learn and let us apply on these problems. The problem which I have taken at here, it is show that there are two angles of projection for a projectile to have the same horizontal range. What will be the maximum heights attained in the two cases? Compare the two heights for theta equal to 30 degree and 60 degree. So if you see this problem having two separate problems. If I highlight this is the first part, we need to show that there are two angles of projection for a projectile to have the same horizontal range. So if you remember this, I already discussed in the as a special case so let me do one more time it's very easy concept suppose if you are a, this is if you can take a plane x and y axis so we launch a projectile just here we launch a projectile so that has taken this path now this is the theta and horizontal range so the maximum horizontal distance covered by the projectile is known as its horizontal range that we call it as r if you remember horizontal range formula horizontal range r equal to u square sin 2 theta upon g so this is the theta what is the one of the angle so they, they are asking at here there are the two angles so I, we need to mention here the two angles one angle is at theta what is the another angle the another angle here it is there it's all trick of mathematics if this is theta so this another angle equal to 90 degree minus theta if I substitute 90 degree minus theta the range formula should not change if I write this if theta is angle then range equal to u square sine 2 theta upon g but we do we need to do the same what happens if theta equal to 90 minus so if theta equal to 90 minus theta 90 degree minus theta then horizontal range horizontal range capital R equal to u square sin 2 of 90 degree minus theta that's what we substitute upon g now if we can do little multiplication at here it becomes R equal to u square sin of 2 times 90 equal to 180 degree minus 2 times theta equal to 2 theta upon g so if we can do further so here we use one of the trigonometric identities sine of 180 degrees minus 2 theta suppose this week if i consider sine of 180 degree minus theta so this is the formula we are having so this formula goes to sine theta itself sine theta itself but here in the place of theta we have 2 theta so this formula nothing will be changed sin of 180 degree minus 2 theta will becomes sin 2 theta so this is one of the trigonometric formula how the angles will be changes so that gives very helpful at here so i can replace that one r equal to u square sin 2 theta upon g
now if you can see the horizontal range if theta equal to sorry if theta is angle then horizontal range equal to u square sin 2 theta upon g so this is what we calculated and if theta equal to 90 degree minus theta another angle so this is another angle in the figure so then also if theta equal to 90 degrees minus theta then also the horizontal range formula do not change okay so the two angles are the two angles are theta and 90 degree minus theta that's what we need to find so that is the first part so coming to the second part the second part says what will be the maximum i will highlight the second part what will be the maximum heights attained in the two cases and compare the heights for theta equal to 30 degrees and 60 degree so this time we need to find maximum height so for the two cases for the two angles maximum height for two angles which are the angles one is theta another one is 90 degree minus theta so what is height formula maximum height so height equal to for the projectile u square sin square theta upon g upon 2g so if it is theta is angle if theta is angle it means is the first case so let me take this as case 1 now for the case 2 for the case 2 if I call that as h dash h dash equal to u square sin square here equal to 90 degree minus theta so sin 90 degrees minus theta upon 2g again here we use the same trigonometric identity sorry trigonometric rule at here so that formula goes to sin 90 minus theta equal to cos theta so these formulas you need to learn so when if you can use that at here sin 90 minus theta cos theta now it becomes u square sin square it is there that becomes cos square theta upon 2g now these are the two heights height u square cos square upon 2g if theta equal to 90 degree minus theta and the height equal to u square sin square theta upon 2g if theta equal to sorry if angle equal to theta now we need to find one more thing what is that we need to find the height ratios find height ratios if theta equal to 30 degree and 60 degree so let me take the height formula height h equal to u square sin square theta upon 2g so that implies if height equal to 30 degree so it becomes u square sin square 30 degree upon 2g upon and we need to find the height for the 60 degree height ratios it goes to 60 degree upon u square sin square 60 degree upon 2g so if you do the reciprocal and cut the like terms so it's very easy here u square u square gets cancelled and 2g 2g gets cancelled and 
we can get the height ratios h of 30 degree upon h of 60 degree equal to it's just sin square 30 upon sin square 60 so we know sin square 30 value is upon 1 upon 2 whole square sin 60 value root 3 upon 2 whole square now this will be changes as 1 upon 4 upon 3 upon 4 yeah you can do simplification at here you can end up the value equal to 1 upon 3 so the height ratios the height ratios equal to 1 is to 3 we need to say always ratios in terms of one another 1 is to 3 so this is how we got the result understand the problem carefully and use your the knowledge and how to apply it and where to apply it so this is all matters let us try one more problem prove that the horizontal range is same when angle of projection is greater than 40 degree certain value and less than 40 degree by the same value so think about the question for a moment it's very easy the asking question is that the projectile is projected this is horizontal range this is horizontal range R so we need to prove that the horizontal range is same when angle of projection is greater than 40 degree certain value so here you will get confused what is that certain value it may be anything to remove your confusion if I take that certain value is certain value is I'll take as alpha maybe some random angle so we need to prove that the angle of the horizontal range is same when when angle of projection is greater than 40 degree of certain value and less than 40 degree of certain value so first case I can take case 1 greater than 40 degree so that is greater than 45 degree and you remember that projectile motion horizontal range maximum will be at this angle only 45 degree angle so when the angle of projection when the angle of projection angle of projection here in this case equal to theta so this is theta if I take this theta value theta equal to 45 degree plus alpha greater than one small angle this is a 45 degrees plus alpha if I take that theta equal to 45 degree plus alpha that is the angle of projection now let's take range formula what is the range formula you can write it here range r equal to horizontal range r equal to u square sin square 2 theta upon g but here theta equal to in this case 45 degree plus alpha so substitute that value in the place of theta right at here insert this value horizontal range r equal to u square sin square 2 of 45 degree plus alpha upon g now r equal to let us simplify u square sin square so I will multiply that it becomes 2 times 45 90 plus 2 times alpha becomes 2 alpha upon g 
so here we can use the same thing so we know that sin 90 degree my plus theta equal to cos theta so don't think that all of a sudden I am using these all trigonometric formulas so what to do this is a condition necessary condition without that I cannot go ahead so the horizontal range r equal to here it becomes u square sin 90 my plus theta I can substitute cos theta but here I am having sin square obviously it becomes cos square it becomes cos square to alpha upon g so if you get confused at here I can mention it here it is sin square of 90 degree plus theta equal to cos square theta but here I am having theta is nothing but in the place of theta I am having 2 alpha so that's why we need to mention that is like that but when it comes to second case what second case less than 45 degrees by the same value so if we can draw a parallel diagram at here so now I need to take a less than 45 degree now this is projectile the projectile is launched with an angle and this time the theta angle equal to 45 degree minus alpha here the second value I have taken that as alpha now here theta equal to 45 degree minus alpha now let us we need to do the same process for second case 2 theta equal to 45 degree minus alpha now horizontal range r equal to the formula goes to u squared sin square 45 first I will write formula u square sin square theta sorry 2 theta upon g so here theta equal to 45 degree minus alpha therefore range r equal to u square sin square 2 of 45 degree minus alpha upon g So let us further simplify r equal to u square sin square 2 times 45 it goes to 90 degree minus 2 alpha upon g. So again here I will use same trigonometric formula sin 90 degree minus theta this time. So here I am having minus 2 alpha. So this formula goes to cos theta. Likely if you can put the value sin 90 degree minus 2 alpha which equal to cos 2 alpha and this case I am having square so sin square 90 degrees 2 alpha equal to cos square 2 alpha so straight away I can write it here r equal to u square cos square 2 alpha upon g so this is the angle for alpha equal to less than 45 the alternate way angle equal to less than 45 so I think we got the same formulas two formulas we got the same so that is the first one and this is the sorry yeah this is the first case what I solved it here u square cos square 2 alpha and which I highlighted with the green ink and this is the second case so these two cases are equal now these two cases are equal I can mention this as very big equality now we can agree to the statement the statement says that let me take the formula yes here it is yeah the horizontal is the same when angle of projection is greater than 45 degrees certain value and less than 45 degrees certain value it means we need to understand if projectile motion if projectile is launched if projectile is launched like this 
if this angle equal to if angle theta equal to 46 you take it means i am taking alpha value equal to 1 so therefore greater value for case 1 it goes to 45 degree plus 1 degree equal to 46 degree for the second case for the second case we get the same projectile motion and same horizontal range horizontal range is same but uh, maximum height may be different so that keep it mind the range is same maybe height may be different because angle is changed for the same range you can get for the case 2 that is theta equal to 45 degree minus 1 degree equal to four, theta equal to 44 degree it means theta equal to 46 degree and theta equal to 44 degree we get same horizontal range this is something is curious everything is matters of that small angle but if you remember for maximum range the, if the range should be maximum you have to project projectile with an angle of 45 degree so make use this knowledge while you are playing that a video game which is purely based on this projectile motion that is angry birds if you like to play angry birds and uh, if you shoot the bird with that certain changing the angles then you will reach how to cover maximum distance and how to hit and uh, that is everything just depends upon the changing the angles apply the same cases while you are playing in the angry bird situation yeah